لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أسى محرمتها وكم كرهت مصابها Du'at, when the Prophet said, the evil will be du'at, people giving da'wah. How can du'at be bad unless they're calling to? But where did you get people giving da'wah from? That's the word du'at. But du'at means callers. Callers. Right? Because I saw, I was watching a podcast and one brother, Omar oh, Hajjaj, he said that, you know, brothers misquote this mm. hadith and say du'at always means people in da'wah. It means callers, people who are like, for example, hijabi influencers who are misguiding Muslims. They are du'at, Abu Jahan, people of sin. Who call people to their sin? This hadith is referring to them, not to the da'at. Brothers, so, the, so then, so then, what made them restrict it to only hijabi influences? And what made you restrict it to only da'at? I didn't restrict. No, no. What do you mean? So what made you restrict it to, pe- to people in the da'wah? It's all callers to evil. So you're not saying it's only people in the da'wah? It's anyone. It's anyone calling to evil. Look at Ibn Hajar al Asqalani's uh, shar. Look at Ibn Jarir al Tabari's shar. If it, look at the hadith, du'atun, the problem would be du'atun ala abwabi jahannam. People calling to the gates of the hellfire. Anyone who calls to, the, to that which takes you to the hellfire can take this. If you're calling to kufr, you can fall under this. So you're not negating that it also refers to people who call to sins. I'm not going to say that. Because I need to find an imam who explained it like that. And if you find an imam who explained it like that, no problem. Okay. But you need to prove it doesn't apply to the people of bid'ah. Especially when we have an imam that says it applies to people of bid'ah. Like who? Imam Jirri Tabri. Ibn Hajj Asqalani. He said that it applies to uh, imam. And also imam, Sorry if I'm not mistaken, right. it's either him or imam al I read it many years ago. Sadia Da'awan once again proving his ignorance once again and just basically, you know, save sex subscriber. Um, he, when quoting the hadith about those who, uh, you know, those called the du'at, and it, it, that's where the issue is, that's where he's got the issue, because du'at means those who are du'at, those who are like da'is, that, uh, you know, that's why it means call us to the gates of the half, I mean, uh, bid'ah. And uh, he turned around and said, well, who says it's du'at? Uh, means uh, da'is and stuff, uh, you know, it could mean call us to the gates of the half, and then, he's, then he kind of backtracked a bit, then he goes, I'm not saying that, and then he said, look at Ibn Hajj's shar and Ibn Jarir al-Tabari's shar. Second, huh? Ibn Jarid al-Tabari, this is, uh, okay, I'm not aware of Ibn Jarid al-Tabari uh, doing a shar. Uh, I think you got confused with tafsir. So you go, go to Ibn Hajar and go to uh, the shar, etc. Now we will. I will. <laughs> Rest assured I will. And I'll go to even Imam Noah's shar as well. Just to top it off for you, mate. So I'll show you your ignorance. I will show you, once again, you're an ignorant, ignorant little boy. And you are talking about matters way above your pay grades, mate. Way above your pay grade. So let's get into this. Okay. So as you can see, I've got Sahih Muslim. Okay. Uh, this is the shar of Imam Nawawi. Rahmatullah alayhi. So as you can see on screen, we've got the explanation of Imam Nawawi's shar. Uh, and under the explanation of the statement of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he says, Du'atun ala abwabi jahannam. That callers, or like he said, du'at, meaning that is, um, calling to get to the hellfire, man ajabuhum ilayha, and the ones who respond to them, Fiha, and they would also be dragged and, and sent in the hellfire as well. So Imam Nawawi says, Qal al-ulama. So the ulama state that those are the people from the leaders who call to bid'ah and dalala, like the other, like the khawarij and the qaramita. So that man, this means the rulers, mate, according to Imam Nawawi. According to the gates of the hellfire, it means the rulers, according to Imam Nawawi Shar. So as you can see on screen, we've got Ibn Hajjaz. Uh, I'll just make it brief, obviously, just without going into too much. It basically means that this phrase, uh, as, as it's been explained in its state, uh, is that those who obviously command um, or call uh, to someone to commit an act of Muharram, meaning a haram action, okay? And they would obviously be at the, uh, the tips of the hellfire. So just to obviously add, mate, uh, Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani mentions that this is regarding the uh, fi'al uh, Muharram, that this is regarding uh, um, actions that are Muharram, that are haram. So it's not just bid'ah. It's not just bid'ah. Anyone that calls 
to the uh, action of Muharram. <laughs> Thank you.